Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to be going over the setup of the ShootSteel.com Speed Rack. This gives you the ability to shoot a rack in a much more convenient form factor. Setup is relatively straightforward, and you will only need basic hand tools. Let's go over the required tools and what's included so you know how it comes together in the setup process. You will find the individual targets, target hangers, two leg brackets, and the hardware. Each target hanger will use one bolt, one nut and spring, and two leg screws to secure to the 2x4 cross member. Locking pins to secure the leg brackets to the conduit, and four conduit legs. The only item not included is a 2x4 stud to complete the stand. It is recommended to use a 7 to 8 foot cross member. You will need some tools to complete the setup. You can either use an adjustable or traditional wrench, or a socket and ratchet to tighten the hardware onto the target hangers. You will also need a drill if you choose to secure the hangers to the 2x4 cross member with the provided leg screws. We're now ready to begin by attaching the target brackets to the targets. Begin by inserting one of the carriage bolts so it is flush against the face of the target. Then place the target face down, holding the carriage bolt in place. Place the spring on top of the bolt, followed by the bracket. Make sure to note that the two holes on the bracket are for the wood leg screws and they need to be facing the back of the target. Place a nut on top of the screw and snug. We can now begin to tighten the nut with our hand tools. You only need to compress the spring approximately one half of an inch. This allows for proper tension and audible report when the target is struck. Repeat this process for all of the remaining targets and brackets. Now you can set up the leg assemblies. Take one leg bracket and insert it into a conduit leg aligning the holes and then securing with a pin. Repeat for the other leg. Repeat the process for the other leg assembly. Lifting up the leg assembly, insert the 2x4 into one of the leg assemblies. Now from the opposite side of the 2x4, begin to place the targets on the 2x4, spreading them along the 2x4. Once the last target is on the 2x4, you can now lift the assembly and insert the 2x4 into the other leg assembly, setting up the stand and rack. Once the rack is standing, you can now spread out your targets so that they are evenly distributed across the 2x4. You can leave the targets over the 2x4 as they are now, or for a more permanent solution, you can use the included leg screws and secure the target bracket to the 2x4. Setup of the ShootSteel.com speed rack is now complete. Make sure you check the directions that came with your target or that are available from ShootSteel.com. You want to check your target area and beyond, as well as know the appropriate distances and caliber recommendations so it is safe to shoot with steel targets. If you have any questions, you can contact the staff at ShootSteel.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.